G'day guys and welcome to Aussie Griller. Now today I'm going to show you how I make my orange and tamarind roast chicken. Now I think this is fantastic. Give it a go and hopefully you will too. Alright guys, this is very easy. I have put the ingredients in the description bar below, so check that out. We're going to start off with a 1.4 kilogram chicken. Of course you can use a larger one if you want, or a smaller one. Here I've got some tamarind. Now you can buy this from Indian grocery stores. Nowadays many shopping centres also stock it in their Asian food aisle. Now I've just got some uh, butter and some veggies here to accompany the roast chicken. Got some oranges, paprika, black pepper, some salt, ginger and garlic paste. You can use the fresh varieties here if you like also. And some oil. And here I've got a couple of tablespoons of uh, tamarind pulp mixed with a bit of hot water. And to that I'm adding the juice of three to four oranges. Just vary this so you can just taste the tamarind. Tablespoon or two of oil. One tablespoon of paprika. Two teaspoons of black pepper. Three teaspoons of table salt. You want two teaspoons of both garlic and ginger paste here. Or a couple of cloves of fresh garlic and a couple of inches of fresh ginger. And a tablespoon of thyme leaves. And that is your marinade guys. Now I've got the chicken here. And with a fork or a corn cob holder. Just prick a number of very small holes all over the chicken. I find this helps to get the marinade into the meat without destroying the skin. Then just put your chicken into a Ziploc bag and pour in that marinade. Just make sure the bag is well sealed here guys. And put that into the fridge for a minimum of 24 hours. After 24 hours, just get some orange wedges and stuff them into the cavity until it's about two thirds of the way full. And tie up the legs to stop them from falling out. And here I've got the barbecue set up for indirect cooking. I've got some slits in the foil so any excess fat from the chicken can drip down into the catch pan. 200 degrees Celsius and of course you can use your oven. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick here. The chicken breast cooks faster than the thigh and the barbecue actually gets hotter up in towards the top of the lid. So I'm going to start off by cooking the chicken upside down for the first half an hour. This will help the thighs cook at the same rate as the chicken breast and stop you from getting those nasty dried out chicken breasts. So after half an hour here I've turned the chicken over and I'm tucking the wings in behind the chicken breasts. Now this is optional, but you can sprinkle a little bit of extra paprika on here too, just to give it a bit of extra color. Now depending on the size of your chicken, this will take about an hour to an hour and a half. Throw on some roast veggies to go with it as well. And doesn't that look fantastic? Now as always, I'm gonna put the chicken in some foil, just for about 10 minutes or so to rest. This will help the meat reabsorb the moisture and keep it nice and tender and juicy for you. Serve with some roast veggies bit of coleslaw, some hot sauce, whatever you like. And there you have it guys. Absolutely fantastic. 
For more information on this recipe, or to see my others, please visit the Aussie Griller website, or check out the Aussie Griller Facebook page.